We have lots of pollinators this morning in the squash plants. So there's not a whole lot of female flowers, but there are some. The last female flowers didn't get um, pollinated. So I'm hoping this time that we actually get some. There's been a lot of bumbles hanging around. Um, so I'm hoping, but my tomatoes have been doing very lovely. Um, even though they got a lot of stuff going on, I've been having an issue with aphids. Just sprayed with some neem oil and some peppermint oil. But we have a lot of tomatoes coming in. Lots of tomatoes, yay, love tomatoes. And these are all my early girl tomatoes. So they're all coming in and they're looking really good. And again, here's all my zucchini and yellow squash plants. The strawberries are, they're still putting out, but they're pretty much almost finished for the spring. My bok choy, I let it get a little bit too, we've been eating on it, but I let it get a little bit too old. It's been flowering, so it's about time to pull that up and put a little something different right there. But again, the tomatoes and the squash are doing really well. My cucumbers are also doing really well. Yeah, it's time to get that kale out too. Don't talk about me. I've been trying to just let it get a little bit bushier because um, it's been some new leaves coming in. So I've been waiting, but the garden is coming along. The dogs have been leaving a bunch of little pea spots in the new grass. But, as you see, the tomatoes are coming along, the cucumbers are coming along. They are climbing up the trellis, so I'm excited about that. Um, again, I've been fighting with aphids and then with there being too much nitrogen in my soil over there. And I think it's from the dogs peeing out here. So, I don't know what to do about that. But over here I have some more squash and my green beans are coming in quite lovely over there um, so it'll be almost time for them soon um, did get managed to get one sweet potato um, that the squirrels did not destroy um, it's going really really slow but it's um it's making a comeback so my tomatoes over there they haven't even started to flower yet they're just still really young over there those are for later on when these ones stop producing those ones will be producing so that's it right now got to pull out my kale and my spinach and then I have my larger variety tomato plants back there and they are flowering and doing their thing but those tomatoes won't be ready until probably like August so those are my later my later tomatoes oh and then I'm a little pot that I put some more um pepper plants in because I lost most of my pepper plants to the squirrels <laughs> the squirrels were really wretched this year and those down there are two more um, watermelon plants that I started because my watermelons over there on the trellis are not doing so well so um, I'm afraid they're not gonna make it um, all the pressure of the aphids over there so I'm not sure that they're gonna make it so I planted two more just in case I need to try to reseed those. I know it's kind of late in the season, but we're still working on it. We have not got our little gazebo up yet. Um, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with my great big table that used to be on the deck, but now my deck turned into a garden, so um, yeah. But we haven't found a gazebo actually small enough for that corner because that corner actually turns out to be smaller than we thought it was and the gazebo that we wanted is larger so now we're looking for something smaller and that's really hard to find but anyway that's what's going on in my garden and my gardenia smells lovely love my gardenia alrighty oh, oh it's one of my pepper plants that actually survived and it's doing okay it's got little bitty tiny little peppers on it and if you look and see they're down there they're in there, little teeny peppers. They're in there. And then of course some lavender, thyme, and sage. But this is what we're doing so far. My lettuce needs to come out. My bib lettuce, we've been used to see eating on that. And on the kale, uh, not the, I mean the romaine, obviously we eat on that all the time. That's, you know, just something that we pick and, pick and eat and come back. Pick and come back on the romaine. So 
And yes, these tires are still here. If anybody knows anybody who needs NE Jeep or SUV tires, I forget what size they are. I think 19 inch or something like that. Anyway, DM me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.